Good afternoon, world's greatest students. I just wanted to check in and see how everyone's doing at home. We miss you a lot. I know I miss the hustle and bustle of the busy hallways and the busy lunchroom. I've heard from a lot of staff and they've also said how much they miss you. Um, these last four days have been pretty boring in the building. It's just not the same without the energy that you bring. Uh, I want to also thank you. We've been through a lot in the last two weeks. I think about last week, how tough that was, losing one of our own. And it really felt good for me just to see how you all stepped up to support each other and even to support our staff. I think that speaks volumes when students are um, supporting staff during tough times like this. I also want to thank you for Monday. Monday this week was, I think, a tough day for all of us. We we didn't know a whole lot at that time. Um, we asked you to use social distancing. We asked you to clean up your lockers. That that was a tough surprise, I think, for all of you. And you really stepped up to, to make Monday go the best that it could. In case you're wondering what we've been up to, I've been here in a lot of meetings at school uh, with your teachers and other staff. We are planning. We've had the governor has given us nine days to plan for distance learning. And that's this week and all of next week. So when will distance learning start? I actually don't know that answer. Um, I think Monday, March 30th, that's my best guess, but that will likely change. I think in about three minutes, our governor's on. So hopefully you'll be able to listen to his speech and, and see what he's gonna recommend for our safety. But my best guess right now is that we'll start distance learning on March 30th. A uh, couple things you might not know. Uh, first is that we are providing childcare for essential workers. So our staff, the people you see here every day, they have stepped up and kind of provide daycare at the elementary school for anyone who's essential during these times. Also, our staff has stepped up to provide meals. And these meals are not just for um, families who receive free and reduced lunches. These meals are for, and also not just for students. If you live in our county and you are under 18 years old or under, you qualify for these meals. You, if you know someone in need, you can call the school and um, get on the list for, for drop-offs. Otherwise, we do have a drive-up location at each school. Uh, one at the elementary and one at the high school. You don't even have to get out of your car. It's pretty convenient. The one at the high school is, if you think about our small gym, on the northwest corner, there's a little door there. Bet you didn't think you'd ever miss that sound. <laughs> that was our bell for 2 o'clock. I better hurry up. The governor's almost on. Um, there's a door in the northwest corner of the small gym. And between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. every day that school is in session, there will be staff there that if, you, if your parents or you just want to pull up and we will hand the meals out again to anyone 18 years old and under. Boring, boring, boring. I hear this a lot from my kids. I'm, I'm imagining that a lot of you are bored. I'm going to encourage you to play less video games, do a little less Snapchat and TikTok and YouTube. And why don't you pick up a book, start, start reading a book, go outside for a nice walk, get some fresh air, uh, mix it up a little bit. Don't get stuck into uh, just technology. Uh, safety, I want to, of course, just mention we love you. We care about you. We want to see everyone back here. So wash your hands. Warm, soapy water, 20 seconds every time. Get in the fingers really well. Coughs and sneezes, they need to go into the elbow like this. And social distancing. I know that some of you are still going outside and you're seeing the neighbors, you're seeing your friends. Keep that six feet apart so that you can ensure your own safety. I do have homework for you. Get your pen and paper out right now. I have homework for everyone this weekend. And this is your homework. I need you to surprise 
a parent or guardian this weekend. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to do a chore without being asked. And I have five ideas for you. So if this helps you think of one, great. Otherwise, I would pick one of these five. Make your bed and clean your room. That's such an easy one. That's my first idea. Take out the garbage. I would really appreciate it if my kids <clears throat> would step up and take out the garbage. If you have a pet, pick up the dog poop. If you have a cat, take out the litter box. Do something without being asked. My last two ideas were laundry, dishes. Maybe you don't know how to do laundry. Ask your parents. Say, hey, I really want to step up and help now that I'm home a lot. That's your homework. Mustangs are strong. Mustangs support each other. Mustangs can get through anything. We miss you at Mora High School. Go Mustangs.